know. <clears throat> Stephen tells me that you're a photographer. How much do you charge? Not much, man. I try to pay for everything with cash. <laughs> okay, never mind. No. <laughs> Come on, Red. He's really good and he works cheap. Leo, tell him what your fee is. A hundred bucks. How about seventy-five? Fifty dollars, and that's my final offer. <laughs> and if you bargain with him when you get there, you probably wind up making ten bucks. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh, this is an important event. I thought I told you to clean up. I did, man. <laughs> my apartment's spotless. As you were, man. It's Leonard. <laughs> Leonard? Who the hell's Leonard? Hey, I'm Leonard. <laughs> Hey, how do you guys know him? We drove a supply truck together during World War II. Leo, you're a veteran? How come you never told me? Well, there's a lot of things you don't know about me, man. <laughs> For instance, I'm a veteran. <laughs> so, Leo, what exactly did you do in the war? I mean, besides just drive a supply truck. <laughs> just drive a supply truck? Leo, did you tell him what you did? Nah, it's embarrassing. <laughs> you gotta tell him. All right. I peed on Jane Fonda. <laughs> Leo here drove his truck right into a German tank formation and rescued an entire platoon. Really? Didn't you get a medal for that? Yeah. I forget what it was called, but it was shaped like a purple heart. <laughs> Damn, Leo. I'm impressed. From one veteran to another, I'd like to buy you a drink. Actually, I'd like to buy you a drink. I'll take a drink. <laughs> Sorry. This round is for men who fought for Uncle Sam, not spent the war hiding in their Uncle Sam's house. <laughs> hey, man, even if he didn't see action, he still deserves a drink. All right, fine. Bartender, one Shirley Temple. <laughs> I really picture you finding your shoes. Yeah, well, I fought for my country and I have the scars to prove it. Hey, me too. Look at that. Guadalcanal, 1942. I took some shrapnel, spent a month in the hospital. That's how I met Bob Hope. Oh. Bastard made me laugh, even though I had two busted ribs. <laughs> Dumbass comedian. Check this out. I don't see anything. Yeah, it's more of an emotional scar. <laughs> Leo, I don't understand how you could go from decorated war hero to hippie degenerate. Well, it all started the day I got back to the state. And that's the last thing I remember until you poured me this cup of coffee. Impressive. Yeah, Mr. Foreman's real good at fixing stuff. No, six across, impressive. No, wait. That's more than three letters. <laughs> hey, quiet! <laughs> oh, sorry, it's quilt. You should have never asked him to come down, man. He's bad for business. You think that's bad for business? I've been stealing money for months. <laughs> I just ripped this right off the furnace. I busted that TV. <laughs> I totally destroyed the washing machine, man. What am I gonna do, man? I can't watch TV, I can't sleep in my room. Guess I can drag my bed out here. Hi, right, man. Where do you see what I did to your bed? <laughs> hey, man, you missed your shift at the photo hut. You better have a damn good excuse. I got busted. Damn, that's a good excuse. <laughs> so what'd they get you for? For loving me. <laughs> Cause she's like 14? <laughs> I got busted for possession. Oh man, join the club. Yeah, thanks. No, I mean join the club, man. We meet every Thursday. We're trying to raise money for a field trip to Amsterdam. What's your tea, Leo? Wow, T, man. That's like exotic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, look at me, I'm the king of England. <laughs> Off with her head. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> well, um, I, I think it's great that Stephen has a boss who cares enough to, to come over and talk to us on his behalf. So, um... I'm just going to let you fellas get to know each other. <laughs> Sit up straight. Yeah. Hey, man, I don't think you should kick Hyde out because he's a good kid. He's a doper. Well, you say that like it's a bad thing, man. <laughs> hey, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I've indulged once or twice myself. Really? I'm shocked. Yeah, I know, upstanding businessman. Last guy you'd expect. But it's true, man. Well, Mr. Hippie. If you say so, well, that's good enough for me. Oh, that's great, man. <sighs> no, please, get out of my house. Hey, honey, I'm home. Oh, good. The hippie's here. Hi, man. Your dad come by looking for you, man. Which is really freaky, because I thought this bald dude was your dad. Thanks, Leo. Oh, man. Look all these different nuts intermingling in one bowl. It's like nut stock, man. Kitty, I think we should rethink our don't throw Leo out on his ass policy. No, no, Leo stuck around because he he cares about Stephen. Plus, I can't find my shoes, man. <laughs> hey, man, nice shoes. Are those mine? Leo, man, glad you're here. I've been really busy. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess my buy one, get one free flyer is really bringing in the business. It's because you forgot the buy one part. Oh, no. Well, good thing we're closing early, man, because I need you to give me a ride over to my cousin Larry's. I don't have a car, man. You can drive mine, man. I can't drive since my license got suspended. Why? What'd you do? Well, I dropped it in some soda, you know. And it just hung there suspended. <laughs> and then when I was looking at it, I ran a red light. <laughs> What's in the bag, man? How can I put this? <laughs> Let's just say in this bag are illegal drugs. <laughs> what? Come on, man. You know I'm on probation. Nah, it's cool, man. All you have to do is just not get pulled over. <laughs> Just tell you, man. Good evening, gentlemen. Is there a problem, Ossifer? <laughs> Did you just say Ossifer? Uh, no, sir. I'm I'm sorry. I I distinctly heard him say officer, sir. Uh -huh. Pulled you over because your left brake light is out, and we have to write you up a warning. Close one, man. <laughs> I thought for sure he's going to ask what's in the bag. <laughs> I'm still right here. Uh -oh. Dog food. We were framed. <laughs> I mean. Of course it's dog food. What do you think it was, illegal drugs? <laughs> All right, weirdos. Drive safe. Dog food? Yeah. I mean... Oh, wait, man. If the dog food's in this bag, then where's... Oh, wow, I gotta check on my dog, man. I heard him. Yeah. I can finally see clearly. Isn't it great, man? Do, 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 do. 
Hey, dudes. Leo, what are you doing here, man? Wow, that's a really good question, man. Leo? I'm working on it, man. Chocolate aisle? What's that? It's a Twinkie wrapped in chocolate, man. Oh, in the sky, those lights. I think that's a UFO. It's just a plane. They're all just planes. Yeah. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> now I got photographic evidence. Of what? That planes can fly? I saw a UFO once, man. It was awesome. It just hung in the air. Then it sent me a message. Big, bright yellow letters. It told me I was going to have a good year. Did this, by any chance, happen at a football game? Yeah, man. And the weird thing was, I was the only one freaking out about it. <laughs> Wait a sec. Good year? Ah, oh, it was a terrible year, man. <laughs> Stupid aliens. Hey, Kelso, man, I brought you your film. UFO pictures came out okay. <laughs> Proof. These naked ones of you are far more interesting, man. <laughs> What? No, those were on that roll? You know, I don't see a UFO, but I can definitely see Uranus. <laughs> it's a planet, but it's also your butt. Guys, you're so immature. Kelso, why are you squirting water out of your mouth? I was a fountain! I totally got it, man. It's art. Hey, you guys want to see the other city, Brad? Yes. Yeah? You should see my garage. This is your garage, man. Well, then you see what I mean. It's a mess. National Geographic is a beautiful magazine. There is volcanoes and a gazelle and naked. Hey, Leo, man, there's a car in here. It's an El Camino. Oh. Well, do you think it's mine? <laughs> the plate says Leo's. No, I mean the car, man. Keys. Oh, bitch it. You know, I was going to give this car to my son on his 16th birthday. But then my old lady took him and split. Yeah, wow, sad story. Keys, please? <laughs> I can't sell you the car, man. Ah, uh, I guess I understand. Thanks, man. Hyde, I want you to have this car. <laughs> what? No, you just said that you couldn't sell the car. Well, I'm not selling it. I'm giving it to him, man. <laughs> He's family. He's a son I never had. You just said you had a son! <laughs> yeah. And Hyde's the son I never had. Hey. Leo, man, thanks. You're the best. The car, the love, the wicked burn on Kelso. <laughs> hey, man, need a lift? <laughs>